good day. I hope everyone is doing well and finding things to keep you sane in the midst of this um, pandemic. I just had to check the calendar to see what the date was because I don't have a clue and I had a bit of a shock because it's already April the 15th and it just doesn't seem possible that time has gone so quickly and yet it feels like forever, <laughs> right? <laughs> but um, today I want us to look at a couple verses from scripture and once again, following this little book, Jesus Calling. But let me read for you from the book of Isaiah and it's Isaiah chapter 30, verse 15. Okay, Isaiah 30, 15. It says, this is what the sovereign Lord, the God, the Holy One of Israel says. In repentance and rest is your salvation. In quietness and trust is your strength. Quietness and trust is your strength. And then let's flip over to the book of Romans. Romans chapter 8, 38 and 39, where we read, for I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depths, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Jesus Christ, our Lord. What a wonderful, wonderful promise for us to be able to claim these days. Nothing can separate us in all of creation from the love of our Lord in Jesus Christ. I want us to just pause and to to think about this promise today because it is an astounding promise and it has such a, a tremendous impact or it can have such a tremendous impact in our lives today. We live in a society today that is being told to, to self isolate to social distance ourselves from one another. Um, we're only supposed to be around people who live in our household under our roof. We're not supposed to join together with other family members. We just celebrated Easter and it really was a different Easter because families were not able to gather together uh, for a meal and for uh, socializing. We were told we had to stay home with just our immediate family under our roof. Um, churches are not allowed to get together to meet. Uh, families um, are separated. Um, we have those workers who are in uh, the essential um, care jobs that have had to send their children to stay with other family members for a time because they don't want to bring this virus home to them, so they are separated. We have uh, people who are sick and in hospital alone. They're not allowed to have visitors. They have to spend their time there by themselves. We have uh, residents living in long-term care homes who are by themselves who are not able to have family around them, and uh, sometimes very difficult, difficult situations, um, even facing death, and they have to, to pass alone. So we see that um, social distancing and self-isolation is everywhere, and that is our norm right now in the society where we live. But Jesus reminds us in this passage he tells us that even though, you know, we have to um, experience this type of separation 
in our society. We never have to face isolation and separation from him. Amen? Amen. His loving presence is with us always. He wants us to, to cling to him these days. He wants us to um, know that we can be confident that he is with us, that he will give us the strength we need to cope each day with the uncertainties of living in our world at this time. Anxious thoughts can come in and they can, um, you know, overtake our minds and fill us with fear. But only if we forget that God's love will never fail us. So when we, when we find ourselves feeling afraid, God wants us to reach out and to grasp his hand in childlike trust. Have you ever had a little child come and take your hand? There's no hesitation on their part. They trust us 100%. That's what God wants us to do with him. He wants us to reach out, to take his hand, to trust him with a childlike trust. Rest in the protection of his presence. And remember that perfect love drives out all fear. And he loves us perfectly. The greatest wealth on earth is minuscule compared with the riches of God's boundless love. And yet, this is God's free gift to all who follow him. May we remember how priceless God's unfailing love is for each and every one of us today and in the days to come. And when we find ourselves having those feelings of fear come in and overtake our minds, let's reach out to him. Let's put our hand in his hand and like a child, trust him. Trust him 110% to walk with us and to be with us because nothing, nothing can separate us from his love. Thank you for joining me today, and I will see you again in a few days. God bless, and let's pray as we close. Father God, we thank you for this wonderful, wonderful promise in Scripture that nothing can separate us from your love because of Jesus Christ. And we just reach out and we take your hand today and we claim that promise because as we continue to watch the news, Lord, as we continue to, to feel alone and isolated and maybe um, anxious, Lord, we know we can't face this on our own strength. So we ask you, God, we ask you to come, fill us with your spirit, walk with us as we trust you 110%. For you are our God and you love us. We are your children. Thank you, Jesus, for all you've done for us. Bless us today as we go forward from here. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, everybody. Have a wonderful day. Love to you all. Bye-bye.